In fact, both India and China have seen some of the most dramatic fertility declines in human history. Welcome to Sanity Talks podcast. When people talk about overpopulation, two countries almost always come up – India and China. Crowded streets, mega cities, billions of people. It's easy to assume both nations are exploding demographically, right? Reality check – they are not. In fact, both India and China have seen some of the most dramatic fertility declines in human history. India's average family size dropped from about six children per woman in 1950s to just around two children per woman today. Which is about the replacement level, meaning the population will eventually stabilize without outside interference. China even more dramatic. Fertility rates there were around six children per woman in the 60s and 70s. But following the controversial one-child policy and later two-child and three-child policies, fertility plunged to below two by the 1990s. Today it hovers between 1.2 and 1.6, far below the level needed to maintain population size. So the idea that these countries are ticking time bombs is way out of date. They're more like slowing trains. What's next for them? India has just overtaken China as the most populous country, but its growth rate is dropping fast. Its challenge now creating jobs and sustainable infrastructure for its large youth population. China, on the other hand, is facing a major demographic shift, shrinking population, aging workforce, and declining birth rates, even with policy incentives. Neither country is spiraling out of control. They're facing complex but very difficult population challenges challenges, and overpopulation isn't really the headline anymore. We are surprised to learn that India and China are stabilizing, that population growth is slowing, not speeding up. If so, let's talk in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more evidence-based takes like this.